here, you're coding for the radiologist that is reading this report. Okay, you're not coding the technical piece for actually doing the radiology, because if you think back to when you learned CBT, remember that there's usually two parts to radiology, right? There's uh, let's say the hospital radiology tech that comes and gets the patient and takes them down to the ultrasound, that's part one. Part two is when the radiologist looks at that image of that ultrasound and reads it, right? So we're coding for part two. We're coding for the actual radiologist. So with that, remember modifier 26, we're going to put on our radiology code. Modifier 26 is what? Who can remember? Anyone remember? Modifier 26 is the professional component, and so we put that on radiology codes to show that the doctor that we're coding for is responsible for just reading radiology. He didn't complete the actual test, right? It wasn't the equipment in his or her office if you're using modifier 26. You're saying the physician just read the report. They didn't actually take it. Okay. So make sure to use that for all of our cases in this week one radiology unit because they're all just the, the hospital took the x-ray and we're coding for a physician who's reading it or whatever the, not all x-rays, whatever the radiology circuits was. Okay. So we look at this first one. Our patient's name, Sally Cinder, physician is um, Timothy Pleasant, radiologist is Morton Morton. So that's who we're coding for, right? The physician is whoever ordered this, the patient's primary doctor, probably. We're coding for the radiologist. So the examination is a complete renal ultrasound. The clinical symptoms is our patient has renal failure, and the renal ultrasound is um, clinical information states renal failure. So they're confirming that, right? So if we look at the results, it says right kidney is 9.5 by 4.6 by 3.9 centimeters. The size and perinatal thickness are within normal limits. No cystic or solid mass. Right um, kidney seen. No dilatation of calcium to suggest obstruction of collecting system. Left kidney is 10.9, 5.4, 5.5. It shows peripelvic cyst mid portion of the kidney. Cystic lesion measures 7.1, 6.3, 6.2. Usually cysts are not of significance. No solid lesions is seen. No dilation of calcium is noted. In the urinary bladder region, no structure resembling bladder is seen. Presumably, it is non descended. So the impression is the kidney size is normal. The um, cystic lesion is not significant. There's no cystic lesion of the right kidney. <clears throat> Neither kidney shows a lesion or um, dilated calces or obstruction, and the urinary bladder is not seen. So this is pretty <clears throat> pretty straightforward, right? Our diagnosis is going to be the renal failure. And then our radiology that we're coding is a renal ultrasound. And again, you want to code um, the modifier 26 or append the modifier 26. So why don't we, if everyone has your your book, hopefully you have your ICD-10 team book and your CPT book, so try to find what the correct codes would be, and um, we'll share if they're correct. So I'll give you guys just a minute to try to look up the diagnosis code for renal failure and then the CPT procedure for the renal ultrasound. And when you have them, put them in the chat box.
Okay, how's everyone doing? I'll give you another minute and then we're going to go over the correct answers. Okay, I see some great answers. So hopefully for the CBT, you guys did get 76770, and then we want modifier 26. And then for our ICD-10CM, it should be N as in Nancy, 19. Is that what everyone has? 